Hi everybody, I'm Isaac. If you've made the decision to go to grad school, you probably have a lot of questions about how this whole process works. How do you apply? When do you apply? What can you do now to better ensure that you're successful once you're there? And that can seem really overwhelming and intimidating, especially early on in the process. But there's a couple of key things that you can think about before you've even submitted an application that can really facilitate success, not just in getting into grad school, but finding a program that's really gonna suit your needs well and it's going to be a positive experience for you, both professionally and personally, which is really the goal. So what should you be thinking about? Give yourself enough time to look for the programs that uh, fit your, your expectations and also enough time to prepare a strong application. I know this is going to sound cliche, but follow your heart. You should be prepared to invest your life in this. So make sure you think deep and do your best to pick a place, a topic, and an advisor that you can invest your life in. My number one tip for applying to grad school in the sciences is to go talk to people. Go meet people. Don't apply anywhere where you haven't talked to your potential advisor, to potential students who you might be working with. Um, you've got to talk to people. You've got to understand what the program's like, what the people are like, what the projects are like. Contact your um, potential graduate programs and your potential um, advisors at those programs uh, well in advance um, so that they get the, your name um, and what you're interested in um, before you apply. So you're on their radar um, well before you send in your application they should let you know you know whether they're recruiting that year whether they're going to have funding for a new grad student um, or whether you know maybe they can refer you to someone else to contact the person you want to work with before you even apply get your name on their mind tell them what you might want to do and that you're interested in what their group is doing that first contact is really important to get your application to the top of the pile to have strong letters of recommendation and that was something that I was specifically told uh, helped distinguish me from other high-quality applicants when I was applying for grad school. So beyond just doing a variety of things and doing well at them, make sure you're actually forming relationships with the people you're working under and making sure that they have nothing but good things to say about you. Make sure you do your homework and you understand the research program that you're applying to join or that you're interested in joining. Show them that you know what they do and that you care about it and that it's interesting to you. Remember that we are interviewing you just as much as you should be interviewing us. Um, we're trying to find a match between a student and a location and a lab and all of those things. And that means that you need to be willing to ask us the tough questions also. We should impress you just as much as you should impress us. Thanks for watching. At SIO, we're really passionate about one thing, making sure that science is accessible to everybody. You can help us in this mission in a few ways. The easiest way is to watch and share and subscribe to our videos on social media. If you're able to financially support us, we do have a Patreon page. Now we're all volunteering our time for this, so we're not getting a paycheck out of it, but your donation can help us reach a broader audience with this message. Thanks again for watching. Take care.